Hello everyone, welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2. So, in the previous episode, we started our career in the truck series and got a top 10 finish, finishing 7th at Daytona. And then we got a top 15 finish at Atlanta. And today, in this episode, or in this episode rather, it's uploaded the same day as the previous episode. Anyway... In this episode, it looks like we have an Xfinity Hot Seat race, and we are going to ISM Raceway, which is, I think it's Phoenix Raceway, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure ISM is the new branded Phoenix Raceway. But anyway, let's head over to ISM Raceway and get this uh, Xfinity Hot Seat under underway. I can't even speak. Let's go. Alright, here we are. At ISM Raceway or Phoenix International Raceway for our first Xfinity hot seat race. We are in the number 40 Camaro. So we are going to practice, qualify, and get on and see if we can finish in the top 22 to get this uh, contract offer. Alright, so we qualified in 24th for this hot seat race. Oddly enough, we are actually taking over Austin Hill's car. I didn't realize that it actually was Austin Hill's car, so we are driving the boss man's car in the Xfinity Series here today, going for a 22nd place finish for a contract offer. All right, here we go. Green flag is out. Let's turn on our mirror and our scoreboard. I passed it. There we go. And these cars drive much, much differently than the trucks, so we have to be extremely diligent with these things. Okay, got a little bit of a run there. That was that was impressive. And then we checked up majorly for no reason. Alright, so we got five laps here in stage one. Looking for a P-22. Alright, so we've... Oh, boy. Yep. As soon as I try to talk. So we've made it up to P-21, actually. we got three laps to go here, so we're doing well. Everyone's staying pretty calm and collected. Nothing too crazy going on. So that's definitely good. Staying on the pace pretty well. We got a decently fast car. Um, it's not super loose or super tight. Maybe it gets a little loose on the entrance of turn three, but it's not too bad. Alright, we're at one to go here. Everything has been super calm, just like I said. Uh... The field is kind of spreading out here. We've got Casey Kane trying to run past this. Uh, but the field is spread out. Okay, Casey, chill out. We might lose it here. No, we blocked it. Wow, holy shit. All right, P21 at stage one. <coughs> All right, here we go. About to go back to green. <coughs> Excuse me. What the hell? Skipped a gear or something. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, we got a little tight going into the turn. Alright, we gotta pump the brakes there. There's gonna be a real problem. Got into the back of Keselowski there a little bit, but... We're maintaining where we need to be, so that's good. But these guys slow up super quick. But like I said, these cars are much different to drive than the trucks are. There is a visible difference when you're driving them. So you gotta be extra diligent and not do anything too crazy. 
All right, coming to the line with one lap to go, sitting in 21st position. We got one to go in stage two. Once again, everything's pretty calm. All the guys have kind of spread out here. Is there anything going on that's too major? Looks like we are going to get a P21 in stage two. All right, so I took two cans of fuel and two tires here because our uh, our right sides were starting to get a little worn, so we got a little work to do to get back to our spot, but I think we'll be okay. As I skip gears again, apparently. Okay, we're getting a little tight here. That's going to be a problem. All right, we're okay. We got enough time to make up our spots here. Okay, sorry, buddy. I'm gonna sneak to the bottom here, block that guy. Not quite sure who it is, Ross Chastain, I think. Eight to go. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, dude. Save it. I didn't mean to, I promise. I'm gonna cut the dog leg a little bit here, see if we can gain a little speed. Get underneath the net. Not quite. Starting to drive a little bit more aggressive here. You know, these races are a lot more easy to run. Or a lot easier, is a lot more easy even proper sentence I don't know anyway these races are a lot easier to run when you don't have any everybody in the field that wants to wreck you because they're your rivals that is definitely a rough situation we've made it back up to our p22 so we are good to roll we just got to keep it steady all right we're coming to one to go here at the line been trying to catch this guy for a while here. Mr. Daryl Wallace Jr. Now a full time Monster Energy Cup Series driver in the number 43. We were trying to catch Casey Kane here in the 88 for a while too, but he ended up getting around him. But, as we're coming to the checkered flag here, it looks like we are going to succeed. We're going to have this contract offer available to us. Nice job with that top 22 finish today. We'll keep you in mind for a ride next season. All right, thank you. Now we are moving on to our regularly scheduled NASCAR Camper World Truck Series race, a Saturday race at Martinsville for the Alpha Energy Solutions 250. So let's head over to the track for the next race. Hello everyone and welcome to Martinsville Speedway today and welcome to the shortest track on the NASCAR circuit and today we are guaranteed to make some rivals. We're going to make our first rivals here today at Martinsville Speedway. We'll have to see what happens. But I'm going to jump on the track, get some practice in, run our uh, qualifying lap and we will be with you shortly. All right, here we go. We're ready to go. We are starting in P21 today for the race at Martinsville Speedway. So let's get out there, uh, I guess, make some rivals and hopefully do well. All right, here we go. First race of the season at Martinsville. That was the wrong thing. There we go. Let's get this race going. And I am on my qualifying setup because I forgot to switch it to default, I'm pretty sure. So that's great. So this setup is extremely loose and not built for racing in traffic whatsoever. So that can be a problem. We'll see what happens. So far, so good, though. I haven't had too many issues. I haven't ran into too many people, so we're not making too many rivals. Okay. 
Get around Austin Hill, or not Austin Hill, Austin Wayne South. Alright, we're making pretty smooth passes, which is really good. We don't want too many rivals at the beginning of this career, because that's going to make the whole thing a little bit more difficult. Definitely makes it interesting, that's for sure. We are slowly making our way through the pack. Alright, come to the line with one to go in stage one. It's actually been a very calm race, which is surprising for Martinsville. Definitely expected a caution by now, but nothing, so everyone's taking their time, which is good. So we're going to pick up a P14 in stage one. All right, so we made a pit stop for fuel. We just got one can of fuel. Didn't get any tires or anything. We lo actually lost one spot, so that's not too bad. But we should be good on fuel for the rest of the race. So we just got to take it easy. Okay, check up. Almost smacked the curb there. This is where it's going to start getting a little crazy here. Some really tight fucking racing going on right now. Okay. Hello. I'm here. Thank you. Alright. We're not dead yet. Six laps to go. People are starting to get crazy out here, though. Alright, here we go. Coming to one to go. We're currently P11, and I'm going to stay there. So that we can get a start on the inside for the final restart. Everything's gone pretty well so far, so don't anticipate anything going wrong yet. All right, here we go. We got 15 laps to go, roughly 13 or 15, something like that anyway. Um, but our right front is starting to get pretty worn. We're at 79%. Everything else is pretty decent here. Got 12 to go. We're going to try to get up there and win this thing if we can. Be pretty cool. I don't know if we are quite fast enough for a win. But we might actually get a top five out of it. Just maybe. I didn't do any adjustments. The truck's actually starting to get a little bit tight. Ten laps to go. We're trying to make our way to the front. We might have a truck that we can compete for the win. We'll have to see when we cross that bridge. Alright, so we got four to go, and we've run into some major issues here. Um, we were trying to compete with Cody Coughlin for a top five. But unfortunately, our tires are getting to us. Uh-oh. Somebody's spinning back there. I think he made it through. Okay. Yeah, things are getting a little hairy now. All right. We are really tight now. Looks like we're not going to get that top five finish we hoped for. We're going to try to stay in for a top ten if we can. Two laps to go here. Just keep it steady. Yeah, I anticipate that our right side, our right front in particular, is very, very much worn. That's why we couldn't get enough speed to even get up to the top five. Lost a couple of spots and it 
cost us a lot of positions and a lot of speed. But nevertheless, it looks like we can get around this corner without issues. We are going to pick up a top 10 finish, a second 7th place spot. We almost got the win at Martinsville, but not quite. But top 10, definitely good. Alright, look at that. We could use your help driving the number 98 car at Bristol this Saturday. Get a top 25 finish. We might consider working with you in the future. So it looks like when we come back to the NASCAR Heat 2 career mode, we are going to be running another Xfinity Hot Seat Challenge, this time in the number 8 at Bristol Motor Speedway. So I will see you guys for the next episode of the NASCAR Heat 2 career mode. in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining through